or your teacher. And I'm your teacher today. <coughs> and I don't appreciate you talking back to me. I don't appreciate you being rude to me. I really don't deserve that. I've been doing my job. You have not all day long. All day long. And do you think that when you burst out again, say whatever you said, they're being annoying, it's annoying, whatever. Do you think that when I'm reading, do you think maybe it's a little upsetting to me continually? Nothing. You should be quiet and let me do my job. What? They were all standing around me, poking at the fly with the ruler. That was actually me, sorry. Yeah, they were all around me. Yeah. Okay, so did did you say they're being annoying? I said, you said they're so annoying. annoying. Whatever. You said the word annoying, but you were disrupting me again because I'm reading a book and you're disrupting again. Whatever you're saying. And I used your word to turn it around back on you. You have been annoying all day. There is nothing wrong with that. Annoying means uh, acting up, uh, pestering. Um, it means all the things that you've been doing all day today. And it was your word that I used. The word you had just said. And I thought, I thought someone else is being annoying. Guess what, mister? You've been annoying all day long. So oh, wow. that's... I just, you game. just be quiet. You just be quiet. You have no business being dramatic, thinking you're going to tell me anything. I don't appreciate it. Now, I have enjoyed subbing for all of you guys, and I even enjoyed subbing for you, even when you were disrupting most of the day. But then when you started acting like I did something to you, oh, then maybe I should just leave. That was too much. That was very dramatic. Stop and I don't appreciate it. And you can storm out of here and slam your chair and do whatever you want to do. I still don't appreciate it. Okay, thanks for being so great. The rest of you, you guys can go. Uh no. 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 Bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> mask up. Put your mask on. I can't, I see you guys. Hey, be quiet. Put your mask on. Oh, Put your mask on. I'm trying to wipe my face off. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> really, get all your turns all over the classroom. Put the water on before I take it. I left my water bottle with Mr. Go sit down. Go sit down. No, you can't. Go sit down. Go sit down. Can I get my water bottle? Sit down! Now! Oh! <laughs> I shocked Metro Atlanta when we first told you about it. A Cobb High School field trip took a turn for the worse when a teenager actually died. A lawsuit over the incident was first thrown out of court, but this week a judge allowed that case to move forward. In a CBS 46 exclusive, our Beau Yates has a one-on-one -on -one sit down with the victim's mom and her attorney. And we do want to warn you that some of the video in this story is going to be tough to watch. That first call was he's missing. Now you're telling me that you located his body? So, yeah, it was, I, it was just utter disbelief. Adele Forbes, vividly remembers the horrific day in February 2016 when she got the news of her son Tamori Jackson's death. All along I was told that no one knew what happened but once I saw the video I realized that how could you not know what happened? Tamori was on Cobb High School's annual trip to Belize. The students had just landed, and prior to going to the hotel, they stopped at the Cyburn River. Tamori was equipped with a GoPro, which captured everything, including his drowning. You can just tell that Tamori is having difficulty swimming, and you can hear him yell for help three times. You can hear him reaching out and the kids basically ignored him, but you can also see what the chaperones are not doing. 
A wrongful death lawsuit was filed against Cobb County, the school district, the chaperones, and Monkey Bay Wildlife Sanctuary, where the trip was being held. The case against the county, the school district, and some of the chaperones were dismissed because they have immunity. The trial court dismissed the claims against the remaining defendants, finding they filed too late. But because of a recent appellate court decision, reversing the trial court's ruling, some of the people involved could be held accountable. Well, we took the position. This was a Georgia field trip from a Georgia school, Georgia children, Georgia chaperones, Georgia death. And we felt that the state of Georgia had an interest in what happened to its citizens when they're traveling abroad. And in the strange twist of events, the GoPro video that is now a key piece of evidence was originally missing. But unfortunately, when his body was found, which is probably about six or seven hours after he drowned, when his body was found in the Cyburn River and um, turned over to the authorities, there was no GoPro. And that, of course, raised our eyebrow because the GoPro was on his body, but it was missing. So about a year later, miraculously, we get a courier from the um, U.S. Embassy and from the State Department where the GoPro had been found. And now with that key piece of evidence on her side, Adele is hopeful the lawsuit will bring closure, but she knows it will never undo what happened. I'm constantly reminded of, okay, well, what, have, what would Tamari have been doing? Um, his class graduated in, in May, and that was really hard for me. Because that was a milestone that he missed. No word yet on when the trial will go back to court. Bo Beth Yates, CBS 46 News.